watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. So I bought this cargo van that I plan on turning into a camp out bug out vehicle. So I can bug out with my motorcycle. You are watching my bug out van build series. Hey be sure to check out my bug out van build series. Video links are in the description section of this video. Okay, so my portable shower crapped out on me. It must have sucked dry air and the pump died on me. So I had to figure out another solution. So I picked up this little 12 volt water pump and what's great about this pump is that it draws very little power and also you don't have to worry about it getting damaged if it runs dry. And also it only has 35 PSI so it's not going to suck up all of my water in my little 7 gallon container real fast. Okay, so it's time to run a little test here and make sure that it works. I went ahead and connected it to the battery with a switch and it works fine. Nice flow too. It easily installs underneath the counter and gives me great access to take a shower or to use the faucet. Now I just use some hose clamps there and clamp down the hoses and what's awesome about that former shower kit that I had is that shower head hose fits perfectly on this water pump. So as you see there I went ahead and installed it. Installed the flip switch there. Okay now to install the water hose and my water container as you see the back entry the hole is too small so I had to drill a half inch hole. Uh, that hose is a half inch outer and 3 8 inch inner for your information. I went ahead and drilled that out and the hose fits nice and snug and I can leave it in there permanently now. Unlike that other portable shower pump where I had to remove the water hose every time I stopped using it. Okay now it's time to flush out the container to get rid of those drill shavings. Okay there's a little problem uh, when I put the hose down it kind of floats up a little bit so that'll prevent me from being able to utilize all the water in the container so to correct that I got a stainless steel spoon and zip tied it to the line and put it down there and use it as a sinker so that way it stays at the bottom and it worked out perfect. Okay I put the container back and that's the way it'll stay. So let's do a little test and see if the switch works okay. As you can see this shower head hose extends far out which is awesome so that way I can wash my motorcycle as well. This shower head is the only thing great that came out of that shower kit. By the way I also installed a 12 volt receptacle there for my refrigerator. By the way I also made a removable faucet that attaches to the sink. I just use a piece of scrap 2x2 two two and some vinyl tile. And as you see there it just attaches via power grip pedal tape. And all you need to do is just attach the shower head onto that faucet. Flip the switch. Bada boom bada bang. And as some of you may know, my sink water drains out of the wheel well. Then when you're done, just close the shower head, shake off the excess, and go ahead and install it on the door. And then you can go ahead and remove the faucet. Okay, now you're probably thinking, man, I don't want to shower with cold water. That's where this hot water element comes into play. It's a 12-volt hot water element. All you need to do is just connect it. I hooked it up to a switch. Uh, so that way that I can switch it on and off anytime I want to. And I used the spigot that came with the water container. Uh, because it has an open and close valve there. And I just put the wire through there. Attach the hot water element. And I can control the depth by that lever there. First off, let's do a little test to make sure it works. Okay, flip the switch. Wow, it heats up really fast. Okay, now just simply screw on the spigot. And put the container back. And there you go. Now I have a hot water heater anytime I want to. However, what I might do is I might hook it up to the solar controller because it has uh, a load switch there which you can connect it to and you can actually time it. 
so that I can heat it like a couple hours a day or however many hours I want to per day. But right now, let's show you my portable shower tent. As you see there, it fits nicely underneath my counter. Just unzip it, pull it out, and pop it open. Literally takes three seconds. Very simple and easy to set up. Bada boom, bada bang. Now you have your own private shower. And it even has hooks there so you can connect it to your vehicle so that way you don't have to worry about it blowing away in the wind. Taking a step inside, it fits me perfectly. I'm six foot tall and I fit in it just fine. I would leave the doors open to the side like that so it provides some sort of privacy. And to take a shower, you just pull out that little access door, pull out the shower head, flip the water pump switch, and take a shower. What I would do is rinse off first, cut it off, and then wash up with soap, and then cut it back on to rinse off, and then cut it off. You want to use very little water as possible because I only have seven gallons of water in that container. Then just go ahead and flip the switch off and put the shower head back. Then you want to go ahead and towel dry yourself and you can either leave the tent out and let it air dry or go ahead and towel dry it but it's very easy to take down it even comes with instructions it literally takes like three seconds. Then just put it back in this case and put it back underneath the counter. It does come with stakes by the way so if you want to use it for camping you can. So to recap, there's two ways to wash up in my bug out van. First, the stealth option. You can just attach the faucet to the sink, attach the shower head to the faucet, close the sink drain because you don't want the water to drain out the wheel well, flip the switch to turn the water on, wash up at the sink, and then when you get to an inconspicuous area, go ahead and open the drain and let it drain out the wheel well. And of course, you always have the shower option, which I just showed you. Just want to make sure to park in a remote area before you take your shower. Oh, by the way, I did take some aluminum tape and I covered the gap between the counter and the wall. So that way I don't have to worry about any water splashing back there. And also added the soap dispenser. And I also taped up that cavity behind the stove. So that way when I'm cooking, I don't have to worry about steam getting behind there. Also stay tuned for other videos such as my installation of my Dometic refrigerator and 600 watt microwave along with my 1300 watt induction burner. Yep, no more worrying about burning my bug out van down with a butane stove. And also upgraded to a 2000 watt pure sign inverter. And also want to show you my new compact table that I can use for an office table that folds away and fits underneath my sink counter. As always, links to all items shown in this video are located in the description and comment section of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.